In this video, we'll be talking about the Down syndrome. So Down syndrome is a genetic disorder that is caused by the presence of an extra copy of chromosome 21 and it's the most common intellectual disability. In this case, the babies which are born with Down syndrome has a specific and characteristic appearance, which we would be talking about in a bit more details. But the prevalence of Down syndrome is quite high. Approximately one baby out of 700 birth is diagnosed with Down syndrome. And there are specific hotspots where Down syndrome is more prevalent throughout the world. So there is no known cure about uh, Down syndrome, but uh, there are management strategies that can make the life of these child better. So one of the key genetic aspect that goes wrong in this particular disorder is the chromosome number 21. So there is one extra chromosome 21, that means trisomy 21, which is the underlying genetic cause of this disease. And let us try to understand why does this happen? Why does this genetic mistake happen? But before that, let us try to understand the overall appearance of these babies. So these babies has almond shaped eyes, flat facial profile, shorter stretcher, upward slanting eyes, small ears, and a mongoloid kind of face. Also, the nasal bridge is quite flat, which is apparent from a side profile. Also, a knuckle fold is present in the neck region. Overall, these babies are absolutely tender. They have hypotonia. That's why they are more kind of flimsy. They are floppy babies. Anyway, in the hand, there is only one crease which is visible. So these are characteristics, external feature of a baby born with Down syndrome. Now let's talk about the biology behind the Down syndrome. So this is how the normal meiotic division look like. So each of these uh, daughter cell has equal segregation of the chromosome. But there is a process or a mistake rather known as non-disjunction which happens in the meiotic division too, due to which the segregation is not equal. One particular gamete gets extra copy and another one get a less copy. And this kind of non-disjunction is the key cause of Down syndrome. So imagine a fertilization event where the sperm has one set of chromosome 21 and it is expected that the ovum would also have basically one chromosome 21 and then it's equal right two sets of chromosome 21 things are perfect but due to non-disjunction if the ovum let's say has one extra copy of chromosome 21 then after combi combining the sperm and the ovum there would be total three copies of chromosome 21 or trisomy 21 and this lead to the down syndrome Anyway, apart from this kind of non-disjunction, which is the most prevalent cause, there could be Robertsonian translocation, which could be also a cause of Down syndrome. It turns out between 14 and 21 chromosome, there could be translocation of the segments or interchanging of the segments. That could be another prevalent cause of Down syndrome. So risk factors of Down syndrome includes maternal uh, pregnancy age. Basically, uh, it, it has been seen that when the age of pregnancy is increased, the frequency of non-disjunction errors also increases. That increases the risk of developing the Down syndrome. So maternal age is one of the important factors. Now let us talk about few of the complications that these babies undergo. So they are often born with congenital heart problems. They are predisposed to get leukemia. They are having issues in their intestine. Duodenal atresia is pretty common. There are intellectual disabilities in these babies and there are high risk that they would not develop proper language or any other higher order cog cognitive skills. So there could be respiratory challenges like obstructive slip apnea, respiratory tract infection, etc. There could be autoimmune complications like thyroid disorder, celiac disease, alopecia, psoriasis, etc. 
Now, what are the tests that are available for Down syndrome? There are pre and postnatal screening that can be done. So among the prenatal screenings, there are biochemical tests and ultrasound based scans. Among the biochemical tests, there are first trimester and second trimester tests which look for specific biomarkers present. And if these biomarkers are up or down, that is kind of indicative of uh, uh, Down syndrome or any kind of uh, defect. For example, it has been seen that three most common neurological disorders like neural tube defects, Down syndrome and Edward syndrome has altered level of alpha fetoprotein, uh, U3 and HCG. So all these relative levels actually correlate to the chance of developing a disease. Ultrasound scan look for the nasal bridge architecture and uh, it, it is sometime uh, visible but it's not absolutely uh, kind of like nailing test for the down syndrome but anyway more obvious tests are actually amniocentesis or chorionic villi sampling in this case in in the case of amniocentesis a needle is used to withdraw fetal cells from the amniotic fluid and in case of chorionic villi sampling suction tube is used to remove fetal cells from the chorion so anyway from these removed cells uh, which can be put in culture and the karyotyping can be done so extra pair of chromosome 21 could be obtained so let's talk about the management of down syndrome so there is supportive care and services which can make the life of these children better so early intervention would help the infant uh, to have a better life and also from a society level, there should be acceptance about these child and there should be more support and inclusion of these child into our society. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.